And we're back with the second part of our uh, Civilization V Wednesday live stream. And we are kicking butt as the Netherlands. Um, you're occupied, you're building your courthouse, which is great. Next target, of course, will eventually be Byzantium. But we're just trying to tech up like crazy right now. We're going to try to rush to electronics and just smash face with some battleships once we get that opportunity. Hopefully we have lots of oil. That'll be very nice. Um, interestingly enough, the Great War Bombers won't even be able to reach any Byzantine cities, unless, of course, we get some, like, carriers and stuff. When do you get carriers? Electronics. Oh, okay. Um, most likely we won't be making use of that, which unfortunately does mean we could get bombarded by them if they build a lot of planes. That would be awkward, not really something I'd considered, but... We're going to cross our fingers that we can still just smash face with a whole bunch of them. Uh, we might want to build frigates. I believe they do upgrade to carriers, or no, to uh, battleships. Come on. The frigate. Upgrades to battleships, yeah. So if we or could manage to sort of slingshot our way up to the tech tree to electronics, to unlock battleships, have a handful of frigates, and have tons of money to upgrade them all to battleships. We could do a crazy effective timing attack here. Um, that might be really nice to do. We'll see how it goes. Um, <laughs> you need to try to warm the stroop waffles. You're even better when they're warm. People have told me what the trick is you make like a cup of tea or coffee, and then you just put the stroop waffle like on top of the cup and just let it like heat up there and sort of steam for 30 seconds, get everything nice and melty. Mm. But I didn't want tea, I wanted um, something else for the second half of this live stream here. And, you know, I figure that'll probably work too. Um, what do I want to do here? More tulips? More tulips. Just, you know, because tulips. Because we can. Most likely, farm might still be a stronger tile there, but yeah, let's chop down that forest, put down tulips. Cargo ship is ready to go, and... Mal Manila wants a trade route. So let's go and run a trade route to this non-alphabetical listing. There it is. Boom. And complete that little quest. Wow. <laughs> an archer. Not... An archer. Not a composite bowman. Not a crossbowman. And definitely, definitely, definitely not a uh, Gatling gun. Wow. Well, I'm not going to upgrade this guy ever. Um, by being here, he is giving some extra city combat strength, but I think it's actually time for us to retire this guy completely. Save us a little bit of upkeep. Um, actually, we didn't save any upkeep because we're not at a thing, apparently. Oh, he was in the city. He was free. That's true. Um, so I really could have left him there as an emergency thing to upgrade, but it does seem a little crazy um, to do anything like that. We will have to build a few more units. It'd be nice to have a Gatling gun at every one of my defense in my border cities. So that might not be a terrible idea. I don't think I've got anyone with an armory. We've got barracks. Yeah, we're gonna need a city with an armory to start producing some stuff for us. It'll basically have to start being our full-time military city. Um, Batavia, not Jakarta, might be an excellent contender for that because it actually has really good baseline production with everything going over here. But it does have a few units um, to fill in first, a few buildings to fill in first, so I'm not sure if that's going to work. Rotterdam has pretty decent production. It is sitting at a 40 right now. Does need the public school, does need the harbor, but I think it might be a candidate for something like that afterwards. Um, yeah. Oh, we need so much stuff. But I do need to start thinking about that. And if I could squeeze out a handful of frigates, A, that would keep my cities safe now. And B, that would um, give us that thing that we need to upgrade the battleships. You have like 13 fish that you need to work. Yeah, I know. I should just start queuing them up and on. Coco for open borders. No. Are you crazy? Um, you have... Byzantium actually has gold. That's making any sense. Maybe because I traded my last one away. Hey, what? Let's just do Coco for, like, seven gold per turn. Oh, yeah, you don't really like me right now. Tell you what, let's go back to Theodora, because she does like me. Puktel has completed the random regret. Wow, someone other than Theodora built a wonder? Can that happen? Is that allowed to happen? It's weird. This whole display is kind of whacked. Oh, here's someone who wants Coco. Dido! Coco! Um, for 7 gold per turn, plus 12 gold. Nice. 
Cargo ship, but no one wants to trade right right now, so we just go for the highest money, which will most likely be Constantinople. Scroll, scroll, scroll. There it is. Boom. Unless I want to send some food somewhere, but I don't think so. Da, 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 da. Brandenburg Gate. Oh, yeah, quests and things and whatnot. Artist Guild, Musicians Guild, and Amsterdam. Very, very, very important. I do need to get those. God, I need these seaports for all the extra production that it'll give me. Well, not in Amsterdam, because I don't actually have any sea resources at all in Amsterdam. But in some of these other places, like Rotterdam, that is a lot of production. Also, the seaport... I need the harbor first. Seaport gives you a bonus when producing the naval units too, right? So that's pretty good. Uh, Batavia, you're not working either of the fish. We well, can't actually reach this one. No one can reach this one. Surabaya reaches both of these. So this one will be the one. Let me cancel this market. It's got a harbor. Oh, and a seaport. So it's actually getting a pretty good bonus from that. That's good. Okay, I'm happy it's working both those tiles then. Um, yeah, keep going on this. This is going to be okay. Surabaya is going to be a great city. I mean, it's already not too bad. It's occupied right now, extra unhappiness, yada, yada, yada. Things aren't too terrible. 220 gold per turn. Yeah, we're making that monies. Um, Antonana, Banana, Mana, Revo. I don't know when you're going to give up on your gold quest. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to send you a 1,000 gold bribe now because, while it won't ally us, I will give the extra 5 influence right now, and it puts me in the right position to maybe do some more work later on. In fact, I might, in fact, I could, if I did this, go and steal you away from Byzantium completely. Which I think is a good idea. So that's efficient there. But another ally. Tons of happiness right now, which is great. Um, I was going to say, are these barbarians? No, they're Ethiopian. Um, okay, social policy. God. We still haven't done the ideology unlock. Which isn't the end of the world. We've got some good stuff to pick from. We can live without naval tradition right now, especially since we'll probably end up getting some happiness from our ideology at some point. Um, scientific revolution, other than the continued relationship with Dido, I don't think we're really going to be stacking research agreements. So I don't know if we need to like finish rationalism. But it's sovereignty can give you a lot of money. Free thought is obviously stupendously good. We don't have very many trading posts. Um... Is there anything else that is a big deal here? More money. This. If we do want to win a diplomatic victory, we might want to unlock patronage. Because the degrading 25% slower is nice. And philanthropy saves us a lot of money. And I think we are probably going diplomatic victory. I'm tempted to do this, even though rationalism is super good. Let's obviously not, you know, let's not argue that. And sovereignty in particular will give us a crap ton of money. I think unlocking patronage, that 25% slower thing and then philanthropy will almost make us like more money in the influence side of things. Let's do that. Let's think we're going to go diplomatic. We have gotten our salt going, which is good. Um, let's go ahead and move you over there. Uh, we could sell off our final salt. Right now we've got... A lot of happiness, so I think it's going to be safe for us to sell the final copy of a few of our things for some extra money. Like that, and like that. So that only costs us two happiness. This will cost us two happiness as well. And if we can take all this money and turn that into bribing more mercantile city-states, we're going to be in great shape because our happiness will continue to be amazing. Um, no one else is offering us bonus cash right now. Well, plus we don't actually have the money right this second. Another public school about to finish. That's good. Going to finish fertilizer in a turn, which is going to increase our growth pretty dramatically. That's good. Going for diplomatic victory after the Indonesian genocide. Well, after Indonesia, there's one less person to vote against me, right? Shaka declares war on Prague. Okay. Fertilizer. Done. Library. Done. Um, go straight to university. We do need to get in a position where we can get our Oxford to finish electronics for us. Okay, so we are four turns from stealing a tech, which will probably be archaeology. Um, I guess we need metallurgy no matter what. So I'll go ahead and try to bang that out. Then once we steal... Uh, can I work on electricity? Oh, I can work on electricity. Never mind. Start working on electricity. Ooh, unless I can steal that. I don't know if I can. I don't know if she's got it. 
because electricity would be an even better steel. Tell you what, let me just work on metallurgy for now. Um, if we can steal electricity, great. If we can't, we can steal uh, archaeology, and then what we'll do is we'll research biology or electricity afterwards. Um, probably biology first for the extra trade route, actually. Boom. Do do do. Privateers, lots of archaeologists. Still on muskets, which is good. Antonin and Renan Revo wants Kaisel bullied. I don't tend to do any bully quests ever. Loves the king. We got our wine hooked up over here. Very good. Cargo ship. No requested trade routes, so I can just go to a nice little high money one. Moss and Connie. Boom. And some science as well. How are we doing literacy wise? Still fourth, 3% behind. But with that, that spy, unless it gets killed, it's going to be huge. We are spying on the tech leader, which means there's a good chance they've got a defensive spy, which might kill our spy off. Eh, we'll deal with it. Okay, I'm going into full lazy mode with my worker. They're being automated. Yes, that might build some roads, but that's not actually the end of the world. Because, um, road connections, you know, would still help us move around, so it's not terrible. Uh, yeah, things. We live at the King Day. They will not chop down the, um, the jungle here. I have that disabled, so that's fine. Relationship. Oh, I want to keep up my friendship with Dido. Excellent. Very good, yeah, yeah. And a research treatment, which is going to be in 24 turns. Okay. Over here, you're going to build that. Mostly we'll just wait. Um, I probably will end up buying these tiles, but I don't really have to rush to it. Oh, you know what would be a really good idea here? Hold on, hold on. Uh, workboat. Bam. For that fish tile. Yes, we're friends with Carthage. Great. Except we're going to go and kick your ass soon enough. But, you know, other than that. Don't get too close to Carthage. Sorry to cause a divide between us, but really not that sorry. You're going to be a big jerk face. Most wonderful people. 17. We have three. The three we stole from Indonesia right over here. Where's my three? Wonders. Borobodor, the Oracle, and the Petra. The Petra is stupendously good for us. The other two don't really matter because it's mostly about, like getting something right away from it. Although the extra faith is not too bad. Cargo ship, still no trade missions? Nope. So I can basically just do whatever I want. Constantinople. We're not going to declare war on you yet, and that's some pretty good money. Antonana Banana Revo still wants some cash, but they're the only ones. So I'll wait unless someone passes me. You can go and improve that. Wait for the animation to not play. There it is. Good tile, extra food, plus the hammers, which is really good. There's something to be said about um, buying a lighthouse over here, too. That's going to be a lot of extra food. Let's do it. Turns this into, a, like, a stupendously good tile over here. Uh, we're on good friends. Okay. Or good terms. I did not see this coming. <laughs> right away, they just lose two ships. I love it. I love it. They declare war on me with their caravels. Right next to Kaisel, my ally. And right away, they just lose two ships. Where, where are you? Okay, steel tech. Ah, oh, they don't have electricity. Ah. All right, archaeology. That's fine. Metallurgy into biology is going to be fine. Um, and then electricity right after that. Okay. First, let's get let's get our vessels organized over here. Um, yes. Yeah, so where are you, Assyria? You haven't been relevant in any way whatsoever at all. So, no, seriously. Where the frack are your cities? Oh, this is you? Nimrod? Yeah, that's you. You're pathetic. You have one of the lowest scores. I mean, I realize I'm not packing a big army right now. I have the smallest army. But I, I, I've got it where it counts. My soldiers are all high on strup waffles. Um, get another frigate over here. 
uh, the Sea Beggar. I'm not going to move out with it yet. We're going to just, like, park out here and wait. Come at me, bro! Um, it would suck if they took Kaisel, but that doesn't seem possible. You know what? Listen, Xantium, how's it going? Are you interested, maybe, by any chance, in kicking Assyria's ass? You want us to not ban Nutmeg. You want me to give you my last wine, which doesn't hurt that much as the Dutch. I don't like the open borders, though. Because you're going to just steal my things. Is there any chance, actually, this would backfire me and you'll end up taking a bunch of Assyria's cities and become even more dangerous? What are you possibly going to do? You can't take Kaisel. Kaisel might lose a couple of his ships, which doesn't bother me. You know what? It's fine. I mean, oh, Antiquity Sites. Cool. Yes. Uh, and our spy got promoted. Um, I'm going to move him out of Constantinople, because it's going to be hard to, like, do that twice. Let's go to our, um... Infoatics. Where's my Infoatics? Hmm, eh, Diplomacy. Oh, yeah, right here. Derp. World Fact Books. Empire Rankings. Technologies. Carthage. Oh, which also is pretty high up. Maybe the Shoshone, because they probably have stuff that's not the same as mine. They might be the best people to steal from because they might not have a defensive spy. So, whoops. So let's do that. We're going to move you to Mosin Connie as a spy. We're going to keep our defensive spy over here because we have a fair amount of tech. Um, hey, here's another thing. Any city-states that might be, like, really opportune to bribe? Like, Kabul over here, well, we don't have enough money for it, and they don't have a mission, which is really kind of annoying, actually. What would be really annoying is if they went straight for, uh, Nimjin, Nimjin over here, but... Looks like they're, like, we must attack Surabaya from this side. Alright, let's hit next turn and see what happens. All right, that makes it more interesting. Man, am I ever happy I've got Kaisel on my side. Hey, Porcelain Tower! Cool. Okay, listen. We're going to have to send you against someone. Okay, just the wine and the nutmeg. Mm, quite a bit more, but not really that much. I don't mind giving you the wine. Tell you what, why don't you declare war on both? Sure. 16 gold per turn is a lot! Now, the open border is annoying, but now I can actually put some people in, on the tile so you can't actually steal it. Fuck it, declare war on both of them. Sounds good to me. Let's go and protect Kaisel. Now, this is the one with the bonus range? It is. Ha 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 ha. What is this one? The frigate. But I can bomb you from here. Smack you around the sea beggar. Uh, cargo ship. Oh, did I lose any trade routes? I did not even lose trade routes. Does anyone have a trade mission for me? No. So, go to Mosin Connie. Who has one technology I don't have. One or two. Um, harbor is done. This is Rotterdam. You need a seaport, my friend. And then we're going to start pumping out water units like crazy after that is done. Public school is done here. Let's make sure we've got our castles going in these independent little cities. So that is our free great scientist. It's still a little early to pop him for science. Um, I'm not sure... What tile... I might replace one of the tulips here in Rotterdam. I mean, yeah, there's going to be mul more multipliers in Amsterdam. I suppose I could just, like, put it on one of these hills. No, I'm just going to... I'm going to use it right here. Uh, don't go into the water. That might get you murderized, which would be unpleasant. Frigate it goes there. Um, you've tuliped that. Great job. Uh, oh, Vatican City! That's a little annoying. I don't think we're actually at risk. But I guess that means you have to run away. Is 
there a military unit I might want to buy here? Oh, I can faith buy a military unit. I'm not going to do that, though. I have better things to do with my faith. Great engineer. Probably the great engineer. Um, so, yeah, I don't have the money for one right now, but that's okay. We're going to vote against banning Nutmeg. Gold deals ended, but there's no new trades have come up. We're still making decent money right now. So all the city-states that are aligned with Byzantium are now at war with my enemies, which is good. We might want to consider flipping Cape Town, just because it's not currently involved in anything. Let's just go to the next turn. We shouldn't lose a unit. Unless they totally go crazy on the Sea Beggar. It seems kind of unlikely. Kaisel's still got tons of units over here. I mean, I do need a bigger navy. The reason they declare it is because I don't have much in the way of military. But I have other things going on. I have intangibles. Or something. Uh, oh, you know what you need to do? You need to go and stand on this antiquity site. And... You need to stand on this one because Byzantium is going to come and try to take my shit. You need to go over there. You are not the frigate with range, so you're actually not going to be able to shoot anyone. But you can stand around looking scary. You've got range, so we can do one of those. Um, I think this is actually a safe thing to do. So let's do that. Although, you know, I am getting a little low there. That might have been a little risky. Oh, but I can pull back. Oh, right, because I have logistics. But let's not attack twice. Let's just pull back. I like it. These guys are maybe a little bit at risk because they were a little bit exposed this whole time. But so far, so good. Hoping Shoshone don't, like, pile on. That would make it a little bit annoying. Byzantium shouldn't declare war on me because now they're in two other wars. So they're nice and distracted. Um, yeah, finish that seaport. And then we're going to pump out some frigates. Oh, we don't have any more iron? Really? How's that possible? Did we? Oh, we traded it away. To Byzantium for the war. Yeah, I guess that's fine. We'll just build a bunch of sea beggars. I don't know, or something. Yeah, it's true. Suddenly logistics is useful in melee. I forgot that you could do the retreating thing using that. So, okay, I have three frigates. Where's my other one? Is it on Auto Explore? It is, isn't it? Okay. You wait there. Oh, that's a Kaisel unit. Right, right, right. Pew. Pew. Uh, I'm not going to spend the money to purchase these tiles. I need it for potentially emergency units. I still have a scout! Holy cow. Um, tell you what, just go for the plus one visibility range. You can go stand on that tile. Sea beggar, you can just rest here, because apparently you can heal in enemy territory. Oh! Ethiopia. Come at Utrecht. Okay, which doesn't currently have a unit to defend itself with. Cannon's pretty good. Gatling gun would be better, but we can't afford it. Can I get 150 bucks suddenly? I don't think the Shoshone are going to pay me that much for the... Oh, I got tons of extra cocoa. Oh, yeah, we don't have friendship, so they won't do it instantly. Hey, what? Just give me whatever you want. Okay, that's something. Can I work out a temporary loan with my friend over here? No, you don't have enough money. Never mind. And I don't have friendship with... Oh, that's a shame. Um, I could build a frigate. No, I think the thing to do is to buy the cannon. Or a castle, but I can't afford that. Ooh, I'm so close. Would a castle do me better here? By the cannon. 
And that is scarier than I expected. So we actually are a bit at risk. Um, I don't know, start working on the castle if you're still around that long. Monument is done over here. Get started on the walls. So I should pull back with my ships and bring them to the other side. Can you make it to the city for faster healing? No? Alright, stay where you are. I do have an extra cocoa. You have a lot of oil. Alright, just give me seven gold per turn. Um, and yep, that is still fine. And it doesn't look like they did any damage here. They're just going by. The AI is not thinking that they're looking to conquer Utrecht. They're just walking by it. I suppose I'll attack the ships. I think that would make the most amount of sense. Stand on that tile. Um, sure, you'll want to be upgraded. But you wouldn't... Well, I don't have the money. So just go ahead and shoot. That's okay. Uh, you just rest up there. Who's got rifles? That's Dido. You know, I didn't actually include her in the war. I'm starting to be a lot of gold per turn that I'm throwing around. That's even more. You know what? You're not fighting anyone. I should just keep you busy. Plus, it'll break up potential friendships later on. You know what? There you go. Enjoy your 15 gold per turn. Go to... I don't want to give you open borders. Okay. There. Everyone's going to be in a war, right? Except maybe the Shoshone. No. Who don't particularly like me, so I'm hoping they don't just jump in. And the Zulus are only in war with Prague. That's it. Alright, Kaisel is fine. Let's go ahead and swing over maybe to some of my um, my lonely cities. Well, I say it's fine. It might not be. Oh, this is my range too. There's Byzantine frigates over here that are going to kill everything. Here, let's kill that. Get some XP for it. Um, you end your turn in friendly territory for a little bit more healing maybe. Okay, enough protecting of this tile. Let's go and actually plant our academy down. Um, yeah, sure, do that. Pocatello is plotting against Ethiopia. Pocatello is plotting a sneak attack on Addis Ababa. Awesome! Ethiopia is going to get hit some more. Ooh, Medana is actually being hammered a bit, which is interesting. So we're getting a lot of distractions. Our diplomatic situation has sort of saved our bacon here. Um, oh yeah, you're going to stand in a tile, which I guess is fine. This is being bombarded, and there are a few ships around. However, they're all free... Oh no, they do have a melee one. And yeah, here we're just going to go for, like, a free kill. Pew. And a little bit of damage on this warrior here, which is okay. Um, can I actually kill it with a crossbow? Is it possible? Yes. Oh, come on! I have to go for the kill. That's really annoying, though. 